My name's Adrienne Bankert. I'm a national news correspondent for ABC News. It was a dream of mine since I was a kid to be on national TV. I worked in local news for years, but my dream deep inside of me was that I would live in New York City and be able to be broadcast all over the nation, all over the world if possible, and it's happening. I lived in my hometown, Sacramento, California. I lived in Dallas, Fort Worth, and I lived in Los Angeles. But inside of me, there was this just hunger to get to national television. I could not quench it. I could not stop it. And so you at least have to investigate when you have a desire that strong. And the one thing that I think that kept me from driving off a cliff with my dream was the fact that I had people in my life to help talk these things out with. Somebody invited me to a conference and I happened to meet Bill Krause. And I was just amazed at the wisdom that he had and the strength that he had and the confidence that he had. And I thought, where did he get all this stuff? I ended up joining that church, joining his church. But what I really found was family. And it doesn't matter what job you have, you need somebody to tell you you're loved, you need somebody to tell you you're accepted. And I happened to find it at my church, which introduced me to all kinds of things. But it was also to help build me up so that I would have not only the confidence to pursue my dream, but I would have the character to pursue my dream. They wanted me, even though I was on TV every day, to volunteer to be a camera person, to volunteer to edit video. And it was my pastor who said, I want you to empathize with each person on your crew. I want you to understand where they're coming from so that when you go to the next market, you're even more kind, you're even more understanding than most people would be because you've been in their place. I've been mentored and coached and I've seen the benefit and I have just this umbrella statement that I use, which is we all need a tour guide. And so I've become a tour guide in other people's lives. And uh, so many of them have come across my path because of my career. So my, I'm very grateful for my profession that I've been able to see and meet other individuals because of those doors. It is so important to invest in other people because it's the most rewarding feeling when someone listens to you and you see the benefit in their life. I'm like, oh, that's what a mama feels like. That's what a daddy feels like. It's like they're listening. And because they're listening, they can now live more of the life that they wanted, that they were dreaming of, that they would be fulfilled by. It only adds to our value when we're able to see the value in others. And to me, what I've learned is through the relationships that I have, through the connections that I have, through the family that I've built, I have the wisdom that I need to live day to day the life that I've always dreamed of. Not just the career and the job that I've always dreamed of, but I have, I've become the woman I've always dreamed of being, not just the professional that I've always dreamed of being. When I joined my church, um, Family Community Church, I had not heard of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And I don't know how I didn't because it's, it was on TV already, but when I found out about it, just hearing the heart of their partners made me want to become a partner. And then when I started going to Believers Conventions in Southern California and then in Texas, I just thought, this is a whole new world. And the foundation that they were able to give us in learning the Word of God and learning faith is just, there's nothing like it. This is, it's the ripple effect for a whole multiple generations of people. And, and I get to benefit from it. And I cannot thank them enough for being so rich in the Word that they could be rich on this earth towards the kingdom and towards God's people, so thank you, thank you. Thank you's not enough, but I am so grateful that I'm a part of the family and I'm a part of this ministry.